What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Tactical Leader Podcast. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Nyala Allen, who is one of the speakers of the upcoming Battle Biz Summit, August 4th to the 6th here in Atlanta, Georgia, that is all about supporting the entrepreneur and specifically the veteran entrepreneur community. And Nyla, I've known you for a good little while now, and you've been a part of some of the micro events, you've been a speaker at some of the stuff before, and really you bring a purpose and a passion to everything you do, and always one big old smile. So I just want to say thank you and welcome to uh, today's podcast. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. So I know you, the audience may or may not know you. I'm going to give a little bit of rundown, and this is just scratching the surface of who the heck you are um but you are an army veteran thank god we got some of those around right you know we had too many air force people already we got to get away from them you're an army vet absolutely love that you bring um, aspirations collaborations um, different professional goals for veterans as a multifaceted entrepreneur a visionary and an overall a real estate broker associate where you help home buyers and sellers maximize VA home loan benefits, which is something that is totally underutilized in this world by veterans and such a great benefit if you know the right way to do it. Um, But you are the owner of ACE Veteran Realty, uh, which stands for Aspire, Collaborate and Elevate, which I love because that is definitely the way you lead in this community. And I think it's absolutely phenomenal. So you're gonna be a speaker at the summit. We're gonna highlight how awesome you are as one of our local veterans. What can we expect to hear about you? Are you going to tell us about your transition, a little bit about your story, why you're so engaged in the overall real estate world? What's a, a little bit we're going to hear about you on the stage? Well, we're going to hear a little bit about going beyond service, right? What happens after service? I'll talk a little bit about my transition. Um, as you said, why I am passionate about serving the veteran community, being a veteran myself. Um, part of that being um, my mom having personal uh, appraisal issues. And um, so the passion just grew from there. And um, I'm excited to just share my story, um, maybe engage a little bit with the audience and uh, share the little bit that I know about being an entrepreneur and what that journey looks like. And maybe I can help someone that is aspiring to become an entrepreneur go ahead and jump into that space. I, I love that. I know a big piece um, with what you're working on and and embracing is that veteran champion attitude, uh, building a successful brand and business that focuses on not only that business piece, but also elevating the mindset and conversation and the four pillars of ATL vets. And I, I love this revelation we've had recently where the four pillars we were based on the four M's marketing mindset, movement, and money, the four things that veterans really struggle with. So you mentioned the mindset piece. I know you had a retreat recently where you ran away, had some, a little bit of vacation time, we're going to say, but you <laughs> explore personal development quite a bit. Can you tell us a little bit about why you invest in personal development, why you go on different retreats and why it means so much for that mindset piece with you? Oh, absolutely. I think it is critical um, as a business owner, as someone that is working the the own the main way that you can grow professionally or as an entrepreneur is if you per if you grow yourself personally, right? And the best way to do that is to sometimes pause, notice, and choose different ways and avenues in which to um, uh, create new habits. So recently, to your point, I went to uh, the University of Health and Performance out there in uh, Arkansas. It is a beautiful campus of 550 acres, and I received my personal training certification and am, and also increased my coaching skill set. So as you continue to re- retreat or as I continue to have retreats and read more books, I grow personally and it just helps me in the business space even more. It helps to grow my um, my business, my team, and help me to provide solutions for my clients um, a lot easier. 
Um, so for me, personal development is a must. It's something that I do on an annual basis. Last year, I did two different retreats. And this year, I started off with um, the UHP. So um, I do at least once a year so that I can grow personally. And that way, it spreads over into my business and personal relationships. I love that. And you mentioned, obviously, a piece that we are founded on with movement, personal training, mm -hmm. really getting out there. Mm -hmm. I got to ask, because we're the Army, right? How many push-ups cool. did you do? How many push-ups can you do? I'm down to like seven at once. I'm like so far out of that push-up world. I, I hate it. So how many? I also have nerve damage in the arm. Come on, give me a break. Okay, okay you get a pass. You get a pass. I like a T-Rex arm <laughs> over here on the left side, you know? I'm teasing. I'm teasing. But what, what was that? What was the, the value to you of, of, of including that in your development? The value is learning new coaching techniques, learning how to actively listen, um, learning how to, again, pause, notice and choose to respond and um, kind of reciprocate what I've heard and just be a better listener and communicator all overall it's also added a piece of um or elevated the piece of coaching for real estate professionals i am also a mentor i have three mentees and it continues to grow and so just um being able to have those conversations helps me to help other people and so that's part of the added piece of it. And also with the sort of personal training certification, I think to your point, movement is very critical. If you're anything that's at rest stays at rest, anything that is in movement will continue to move. And that's how we grow. I, I believe, I, be, I believe we grow through movement, through development, through learning and personal, personal growth. So um yeah and you do lots of push-ups that's what I gather so yes to answer the push-ups <laughs> I can probably do about 25 so without five. stopping don't lie yeah, don't lie 25. I don't hear it I'm teasing I'm teasing now you know uh obviously my better half you you know Taylor pretty well and I, I call her the yes. prettiest drill sergeant I've ever had because she's in that fitness space as well and um, you might give her a rival. You're, I see you smiling while doing push-ups, and she smiles while doing burpees, and y'all are both crazy. So I don't know what the heck's going to happen at these at this Biz Summit because we do have some fitness integrated into it in the mornings. We have a couple of amazing things. Uh, uh, we have a nutrition expert. Uh, she's a registered dietitian that's also one of the speakers doing a workshop about the value of nutrition and entrepreneurship. But then, like, for brunch on Sunday, we're going to have, like, bacon and eggs and like the good stuff right so okay. i'm gonna i'm gonna let y'all judge me because i'm gonna be the fat kid up there and it's at a brewery we're gonna have a couple brews here and they're like i don't want to hear about the nutrition side for the weekend we'll do extra push-ups that monday morning afterwards so like you said we're okay, always gonna have fun when we're together you know <laughs> yeah absolutely absolutely that, that that would be quite all right and hey taylor has it all the way I'm I'm new to this. I'm not true to it in terms of I did it personally so that I can grow and understand my body and how to move. But Taylor's got a down pack. You say I'm, that. I need to come and take some classes from him. <laughs> I just see the knife hand coming <laughs> out from you. Like I see that knife hand. You're going to start chopping people with like, come on now. I know you remember it. <laughs> knife hand. What? You don't know the knife hand? No. Oh my gosh, how long, hey, the knife hand, the drill sergeant knife hand, do more push-ups, like I taught it to Taylor. I've never done it, I've never done it. Not yet, I see it in you, I see it in you, so when you get on stage, I expect a good knife hand, I'm I'm, I'm teasing, no I'm not, hey. um, there, oh, there it. it is, there it is, she did it y'all, she did it y'all. <laughs> Um, I, I got to say, Nala, it's going to be a, a true joy to have you involved. It's going to I'm looking forward to it. You bring such energy and passion literally in everything you do. You keep me laughing. You keep everybody around you laughing. And at the end of the day, there's such value attached to that. Um, that I'm, I'm just honestly blessed to have you a part of it. Um, before I let you run for the day and before we push this out to the audience, Give us a rundown of where can people find you, your links, your social media, what platforms you spend a lot of time on. 
How can we do a little bit of recon on you before you come to the summit on the 4th and 6th? So that's a great question. Professionally, you can find me on LinkedIn at Nyella Allen. So that's N-Y-A-L-A-A-L-L-E-N. And on Instagram, Facebook, I am Ace Veteran Realty. And um, my number is 770-525-1977. Feel free to give me a call. Um, I look forward to helping veterans, home buyers, and sellers maximize their VA benefits so that they can save money, reduce debt, and um, build their generational wealth through real estate. I'm going to laugh. You put your phone number out there when all these Marines yep. start hitting you up and, and like prank calling you. All right. You know how they act. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm hey, kidding, keep those crayons over there. <laughs> Call me for real estate. <laughs> no, no, I, I love it. Thank you for putting that out there. I know you're going to bring a mass amount of value. Um, definitely y'all reach out, um, find your own social media, connect with her, get some details on who Nyla is before we get to the summit. And then of course, catch her at the summit. She's going to be the one with the biggest smile in the room. Nala, thank you so much for being here, and I look forward to catching you in a couple of weeks. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me, and I'm excited um, for this three-day conference. Thank you for the opportunity, and this is going to be great. I love that you are supporting veterans and having this non-for-profit um, ATL Vets all the way. Whatever I can do to support, you got me.